Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North and today I just wanted to show you a few alternatives to the lark's head knot that you can use to attach your cords to your dowel before you start making like a macrame wall hanging or whatever macrame project you're working on. So right here I have just a regular old lark's head knot. Make your loop and you fold it over your dowel and just pull the ends through. And it's super simple, it does the job but maybe you want to try something different. One thing that can be annoying with the lark's head knot is it can be kind of unstable and it loosens pretty easily and you kind of have to adjust it a lot when you're working. Um, so here's some other alternatives here. We have the sling stone knot or the sling stone hitch. And this one, I honestly could not find out what the specific, what the actual name is, but I'm going to just call it a reinforced lark's head knot. Then we have the cat's paw knot right here. So let me just show you how to tie these. First, we're going to do the reinforced lark set knot. So you're going to take your cord, fold it in half, and you're going to just drape, drape it over your dowel so it's just hanging with you know, right in the middle where it's folded in half. So you're gonna start like that. Then take your ends and then you're going to fold your two ends, which let me show you how they look here. So you have your two ends met up here at the bottom. You're going to pull them up over the dowel and then this loop that is formed here, let me show you, you're gonna pull them down through this and then just tighten it up. And you have to kind of adjust it a little but then this makes a nice reinforced lark's head knot with this cool diagonal bar going across it. Now if you want your diagonal bar to face the other way, I'll show you how to do that. Just loop it over your dowel, meet up the ends, but this time we're going we're gonna to loop it over on this side. So you push it over to the right, then meet up your ends at the bottom, loop them up behind, and through the loop and tighten it up and then kind of tighten and adjust a bit and then there you go and it's a nice sturdy knot it doesn't go anywhere so that's the reinforced lark's head knot okay now we're going to do the sling stone hitch for this you go ahead and fold your cord in half like you normally would for a lark's head knot and you just put it over your dowel like you normally would as well. And then instead of putting the cords through the loop like in that direction, like through like this, instead you're gonna wrap them around and put this one, pull this one through, and then you're gonna wrap this one around this side and pull it through like this. And then just tighten it up And there you go. And this is an, also a really secure knot. Now I'll show you if you do it the other way, it looks like almost like a lark's head knot from the front. So you loop it over like you normally would, but instead of pulling it through like this, you wrap it around the side and around this other side and then pull them through. And then when you tighten it up on this side, it almost looks like a lark's head knot but it's much more secure. So that is the sling stone hitch. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the cat's paw knot. So fold your cord in half, flip it over the dowel. Now we're gonna feed the cords through like you would normally for a lark's head knot. So now we're here, but don't tighten it yet. Instead, you're gonna feed the cords through again. Oh, that's two times on this side and two times on the left and then we're going to do it one more time so three times on the right and three times on the left and then it's going to like this and you just tighten it and push it up and then it looks like that and that is the cat's paw knot if you enjoyed this macrame knot tutorial please leave a like 
and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more crafty tutorials and DIYs. Thanks for watching!